Hello, this is Sakari from Omni Geometry. Uh, I'm here to demonstrate quickly the new features in Omni Geometry version 1.3. We are very excited about this release. Um, there's been a lot of changes, a lot of new features, a lot of optimization. So, I'm just gonna show you quickly what's new in this version and uh, in upcoming videos we'll go more in depth with the new, new features. Anyway, First, I would like to say that this this version is 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 it's much it's much faster in uh, drawing performance. So everything everything is faster when when we have optimized the code a lot, the drawing code, and uh, and so with this version you can find much more complex shapes and still run those with nice performance. So that's one thing. Then. Uh, another big feature is uh, adding a new scale mode. So previously, the, when you animated, uh, the shapes only scaled back and forth. In this version, we have the saw wave and sine wave scale modes. This is the previous one default, and now we have the saw wave, which means uh, the shape will, will uh, transform and scale from point A to point B. And we, you can easily now swap the scale start and scale end here. And with this feature, when combined with another new feature called the scale start fade in and out. So if I put the scale start fade in, you can see the shape will, uh, the layer will, will fade in and out according to these settings here. So that's pretty cool. With this, you can you can create quickly uh, nice, nice tunnel effects like this. So that's uh, one one new feature. Then we have uh, let me pause that for a while. We have improved the line weighting a lot, like the way uh, the line weights are being. Uh, adjusted based on the recursion level. So by default, we have here now the new uh, line weight mode, which means uh, by default, the line weights are adjusted recursively, meaning as we go along the recursion level, the line weights are also adjusted a bit. You can change this to animation scale to recursive, which is the old default value, which means uh, it will only be changed when animated. Or you can select the fixed mode, which means uh, the line weight with will always be the same, no matter what the recursion depth is. But this default recursive produces beautiful results uh, easier than before. Then, uh, for people doing V-chain or people or just wanting to see what your scene looks in full screen easier, we have the projection mode. If I toggle this. It will hide the UI completely, so I can just focus on my scene and what I'm working on. So that's pretty cool. And when I toggle Ctrl U here, it will show me just parts of the UI. So with this, you can really uh, see your scene much with better clarity and, and higher resolution, and you utilize your screen space better. So, and with this, we also have. Uh, if I animate and trace. Now, previously, uh, if I want to clear this, then I clear the trace, okay, and I lose it completely. But now, in this version, okay, if I find a nice trace, for example this, I can store it, like this. And now, when I clear the tracing, I can continue, for example, change the line color here and continue animating here. And, and now I will always draw, I can experiment more, much easier with this tracing. Because I have another background layer uh, with the store, store, store trace. And of course you can also, so with this you can do this kind of easier building of this tracing effect. I can clear the trace and of course I can clear the store, store of trace. So that's another new feature. Then we have um, we have changed how modify all works. So 
uh, in, in previous versions, um, let's do that. Um, when you toggled, if you had multiple scenes or layers, actually, let me copy just some three layers here. Change some colors. Let's make more clear that we have deep, three different layers here. Looks a bit like that. <coughs> and previously, uh, the space toggle modify all, uh, but now space toggles select all, which means uh, this is now uh, working as the previous modify all. So now if I copy new layers, they won't come active. But now we have the real modify all. So with this I can easily copy layers and continue editing. But now if I toggle with shift and space, now I'm always modifying these layers, always modifying all the layers. So now if I copy, it will it will keep all the layers uh, modified all the time. So that's that's one difference. Let's just uh, delete this and have something nice there. So then we have a uh, nice feature. Let's let's uh, turn off the scale fading. We have added a lot of presets also here. So now, now if I'm uh, adjusting, for example, the scaling frequency, I can now invert it easily, or I can uh, change the scale frequency or other animation par parameters with these multipliers. For example, if I want to make it twice as fast, it's easy, or go back or make it slower. So this, this is also pretty nice. Then, uh, then we have um, proper feeling of layers. So previous the feel was kind of like buggy in a way. It didn't take account into the recursion of the layers. So, let me change that back. Now if I feel a layer, that uh, it is feeling actually the whole uh, recursion of the layer. So it, 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 it now works much nicer than in the previous version, so you can actually feel, feel the layer very nicely, like this. And, and, and it will respect the re recursion of uh, the shape. For example, this kind of stuff you can create very easily. And then we have uh, another nice feature. Let's do this. So if I'm animating, and I'm, I'm changing these uh, scale parameters, for example. I'm changing the speed, or maybe maybe I'm uh, copying this layer many times. For example, if I want to copy this and with no animation, uh, so that I'm copying without copying the animation parameter with uh, Alt-C or Alt-C, yes. For example, like this. Now. Now, previous we only had support for uh, resetting this, uh, resetting the animation parameters, and this means it would reset all the parameters and actually the color also. So, but in this version, uh, let me show you. For example, if I wanna store the animation, I can store. Okay, I wanna go back to that state. So if I press Ctrl 0, it will always go to that state which uh, I stored it. And this works with multiple layers too, so if I copy this, and I have a nice effect going here, let's put in some fade. So, now if I store the animation, and I, I can oops, always go back to the state where the animation was when I stored it. And when you copy layers, it means uh, those anime, those when you restore copied layers, for example, if I copy copy this layer here and change the color so you can see the difference. 
Uh, it will always, by default, when you restore the animation, go back to the state where it was before it was copied. But of course, that means uh, change the color also. Anyway, then we have uh, we have the big one, the big one, and that is I can show you it here. Edit, undo. So we have undo. So let me show you. If I create a new layer and uh, let's reset the zoom. And now you can also uh, change the. Let me show. Uh, maximize canvas. So now, where you, when you're resizing the canvas, the formation stay stay centered, so they don't move like before. So here I have a shape I've been editing. And now, what if I want to go back? I can just do edit undo and with this I can do all the operations I did and, and go back and forth. So this is a really game changer. We finally have an undo, we do and this is still a bit experimental. There are some cases where it might not result in the expected behavior but we are already seeing great uh, success with the undo redo so uh, it should work in most cases, but with animation there's some sometimes something that might not work as expect expected, but we are going to be fixing those bugs in the future release. Then, I think, uh, yeah, we've been working a lot of, lot of on this release, so we hope, hope, you, hope you like it and hope you discover the new features and we'll be making some, uh, some uh, some more in-depth videos about how, how to how to uh, use these new features, uh, so you can really really get into uh, what you can now create, create create actually with these new features. But uh, this was uh, Sakari from Onmi Geometry, and hope you will have a good time with uh, ver version uh, 1.3. Thank you for listening. Bye bye.